hope everybody is having a good exam season. Because mine has just, I tell you now, you. God alone is who gave me through these exams because the kind of tiredness I feel in is this shouldn't be happening to anybody, you know? Got somebody, she's a beauty, very special, really and truly. Take good care of me, like it's her duty. Walk right by my side, night and day. Hi. <laughs> First of all, just excuse how I look. But anyway, everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in the previous clips, y'all would have saw that I just came from the beach. I decided that I wanted to vlog this week because I have exams Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I thought that the madness that's about to happen this week would be interesting to some of my subscribers just so that y'all could get a little insight into what my life is like around finals this is actually the first time that i've ever had this many exams in one week so we are a little bit scared but we're not freaking out we're going to keep it together like i said i just came from the beach because believe it or not between it all you need to take a break and now pause my first exam is tomorrow at 9 a.m and then my second exam is on tuesday at 1 p.m and i've already prepared for the one at 9 a.m i feel ready for that one so i put those notes on the back burner and currently we're doing notes for the second exam which is on tuesday so on tuesday i have taught love taught and so yeah right now we're studying damages for all the intellects out there y'all know what damages are so that's what we're doing right now and i guess but, uh, I just hope this I just hope this vlog not boring I hope it turns out like interesting and I hope y'all get to see like what finals week is like I think I said like like five times just now <laughs> but anyway yeah I study in and so I get back to y'all in the next clip bye guys Tip one for exams, always make sure you're extremely comfortable. Okay, so now I just walk into school. I literally just have on a tank top, jeans and sandals. Make sure you're comfortable in the exam. Because you want to wear your strap falling down and that kind of jazz. So, check in with y'all when I finish. Wish me luck. So I'm walking home now. I just finished my first exam. So I don't even know if I could see me. Ah well. That one went pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that one was very good. So I can take a break. It's now about after 12. So I can take a break start back studying at like two o'clock um tomorrow i have said this already but tomorrow i have taught taught is actually a hundred percent final so i bet i already studied two out of the three topics that i'm doing in the exam tomorrow i know two of them pretty good it's just the last one that's giving me trouble so i'm gonna start back studying at two for that that exam is at one tomorrow so we have a lots of time to learn cases yeah so chances are I'm probably gonna talk back to y'all tomorrow so if I talking back to y'all tomorrow then see y'all in Tuesday's vlog clips bye guys <laughs> okay.
okay hi everybody so i'm actually the worst person today is actually the third day of exams so i forgot to vlog on tuesday and i didn't vlog yesterday my week really got turned over because the exam that i'm supposed to have on friday was supposed to be 80 percent but it changed to 100 percent because apparently the course outline we were going based on was never approved by the faculty <sighs> but anyway so yeah i know um now i'm about to walk to school get something to eat and then i have criminal law at one so i'll check in with y'all when i eat in sorry for not vlogging everything but i tried but all the exams so far have been good this is actually the exam that i'm most frightened about but i'll check in with all you soon so hey everybody welcome back um i think personally i feel like i look sleepy but that might not be the case i just not just but i got back from my criminal law exam took a nap because i'm just, like I, I right now i'm running on e and i literally don't know like how i get in through these exams one behind the other when i say like i'm drained like i'm when i get home from the exam it's just straight into my bed and like that's not the intention i lie down just to say you know like yo let me take a break and then i wake up three hours after like oh no i got another exam tomorrow but anyway so the criminal law exam was okay the questions didn't come how i expected them to come like i learned all the defenses because i expected the defense is to come as part of like a fact pattern and they didn't like self-defense came as an essay question on its own and you had to speak solely about self-defense so i mean like i could have done the questions but they didn't come how i expected them to come and so i feel like that kind of tripped me up at the beginning of the exam but that was small because they want to know the material you should be able to answer any question no I'm on to preparing for my last exam and I honestly like the only thing that's keeping me going is that this is the last exam that I have to do. Yeah, so remember I told y'all that tomorrow's exam changed from 80% to 100% and even though I felt like I had already know the material good enough for 80%, writing for 100 max is different. You have to write with more depth, definitely more analysis and it requires you to apply more basically and so we're back to the drawing board and hopefully we could get enough done tonight before tomorrow Okay, so now it's about um, just after three. Um, my exam is at four o'clock this evening, which is why I could afford to step this late today. I know for me, like I must have at least three to four hours of sleep before an exam. But this studying for this exam wasn't too bad. I just scared about like how the questions are gonna come. Oh, let me show y'all what my typical study thing looks like yeah so this is what i take to the exam so compared to this this is like my notes notes what i would have written out and then this is like the summarized version what i take to um the exam so when i go into the exam i don't this is what i look at directly before i enter the exam compared to sifting through all of these notes so on this paper i literally just have all the relevant information i need to know so like the, the obviously the topic is mistake the first thing i need to know is the definition and the definition of mistake came from lord denning in this case and then there are three types of mistakes so i have common mistake here unilateral mistake mis um mutual mistake and then documents mistakenly signed these cases appear what i have highlighted these are the cases that were giving me trouble to remember which is why those ones are highlighted and why they are also first on the paper so that even if this is the last thing i read when i go into the exam this will be the first thing i read before i enter the exam room so this will be like the last thing i remember if you understand what i mean so this is how it looks for mistake very summarized and this is the misrep paper. Obviously, the longer topics would have 
this was the illegality paper oh I forgot to mention like you see these little blue notes next to each case so that basically told me like this is just a reminder of what the case was about so Couture versus Hasty was about fermented corn so like once I remember Couture was about fermented corn obviously I remember all the facts I remember the holding everything like that so this is what my little study setup looks like so now I'm about to head to bed and tomorrow is the last day and yeah taking me out tomorrow guys so for my past three exams i was driving jesus was in the passenger seat but today jesus have to drive <laughs> hi guys so my exams are officially over just got home from contract it's now about after eight but my exam finished around six o'clock but after the exam kian was having a game at school so i stopped there to watch cricket violets and then now I'm back home. To say the least, the exam was just... <sighs> the questions didn't come how we expected them to come. Questions had part A and part B. I showed you all my work me summary sheet for mistake, my mistake notes. And one little section of my notes had on the case Shogun. An uh, entire question for mistake came on Shogun. But anyway, um, I was able to get to the exam. I mean, granted, I don't, at this point, I really don't know what grade I'm going to get. I went in feeling like, yo, I could have finished a B plus or A. But I feel like you can just, <clears throat> I think it would just come down to how she marks the papers and whatever happens. I just need to thank God that I got to this week and I got to this exam season because January, four exams in five days was not easy. But we got through it, and so now it's officially sugar mass season. It is in full effect. And so, since it's sugar mass, let me first invite y'all out to Cool Effect Q Clips. Yes, I'm just here to invite everybody out to Cool Effect this year. Cool Effect is usually hosted by the Cane Juice team. This year, Cool Effect is going to be held on Saturday, December 22nd. Last year, I attended the Fet on my own and I vlogged. And y'all love the vlog and so this year I reached out to Cooler Fet or the Cane Juice team and this year I'm going to be there as media and so we want the vlog to be bigger and better. This year they have amazing acts lined up like Kes, Jami, Lyrical, Azabanton, Olatunji and then we can't forget our local people, Sugar Band, Collision Band, Grandmasters, Mad Stoney, Bird Messiah, y'all know I love him. And then amazing DJs like Hellfire Tierno. So it's going to be amazing. The clips y'all seen are clips from last year. It was craziness. And so I just want y'all to come on out. Remember, it's going to be at Warner Park Stadium. And just hit them up on Facebook to find out where you can get tickets. So see y'all there.